Hi everybody. So somehow you found each other even though you're thousands and thousands of miles apart. Mm -hmm. Then you made it through that ever so challenging long distance relationship and you made it through strong. You proposed, she said yes. Next stop, it's time to get married. Yay. <laughs> Yay. But next comes the question that we get all the time. Where do we get married? The US, the Philippines, both? How does it work? We're gonna clarify that for you right now. So which one is it? Is it the Philippines? Is it the US? Which one's less complicated? Which one is faster? Which one's better? And which one is cheaper? Yes, which one is cheaper? That's a pretty big factor too. Yeah, everybody and wants while, to save. Yeah, <laughs> and while we can sit here and tell you, you know, you should do this or you should do that, we will give you some suggestions here. Um, but everybody's different. Okay, everybody's situation is different. What we're gonna do is tell you a little bit about you know how we handled that because yeah. people are asking that. And mm -hmm. it might give you some ideas. It might give you some different um, insights into things you may have never thought about. Okay. Yep. So let me take you back to right after we proposed, we started to have this conversation about where we're going to get married, how that's going to work. Mm -hmm. You know, we kind of knew we wanted to do a K-1 visa, right? But I don't really think either one of us ever really thought about like, okay, well, if we do a K-1 visa, that means you got to get married in the U.S. And I just don't think it really clicked, you know, until like we really thought about it then. And like her mom said like, well, how, what, we're going to miss your wedding? You know, you're not going to have a wedding here in the Philippines? Yeah. You know, it's important to us. You're Catholic. You know, you need to do it in a church. You need, you know... It was a pretty big deal yeah, it's a with pretty my big deal. parents because yeah. I'm the first one who, who will get married in our family. Yeah, not to mention, you know, every young woman wants to have their wedding. You know, their traditional wedding where they have their bridesmaids, they have their, you know, sisters and their family at the wedding and have their reception with all their friends. And um, every woman dreams of that and should have that, right? So, but, so how do we do this? How do we pull it off? Well, it's simple. You know, we looked at our marriage mm -hmm. as a two-step process. Mm-hmm. Not a one-step process, but a two-step process, okay? The first step was when she came to the U.S. on her K-1 visa, we had said that we're going to look at that part one as just legally getting married, right? Yeah. It's like going to the courthouse and just getting our marriage certificate. So we viewed it the same as if we were getting married in the Philippines, and we just had to go get our marriage license or marriage certificate anyways, right? Mm -hmm. That's kind of how we looked at it. We're just going to get our marriage license. And we had a little small ceremony that we were able to celebrate with my mother, my father, and my four kids. Yeah, and his kids. And we had a really good time. We had a good dinner. It was so fun. And we even had like a little after party reception. <laughs> we went to game time. Okay? Yeah. We're... And you know, those of you watching in the US probably know what game time is, but it's just this really big place where they have a lot of video games and yeah. a lot of cool stuff, right? So everybody's looking at us, right? You know, we're all dressed up and, you know, we, we did dress up too. You know, mm -hmm. we had tuxedos on, me and my son. I was in my wedding gown. Too. Yeah, she had a, a, a... It was a very simple wedding yeah, gown. Yeah, a very simple white dress on. Um, and the kids had cute little, you know, it, little flower girl dresses, yeah. right? And we all went out, we had a great time at game time. You know, made the uh, most of it, right? Actually, that was so fun. Yeah, we took pictures. Mm -hmm. we, have, we have professional <laughs> photos from that day. So it's like we got to celebrate that wedding and that legal part, that part one of our wedding with my family, right? Mm -hmm. And then what we did is we went through the adjustment of status so that she could get her green card because after you do get married in the US, it's not advised for you to travel back to the Philippines because there is a chance that she wouldn't be able to come back, mm -hmm. okay? Because it, you have to wait until you get your green card, mm -hmm. okay? That's what our um, visa consultant actually advised us to do. So we waited until she got her green card, right? Yeah. That took about a year, okay? So a whole year went by, right? And throughout that year, we planned our Philippines wedding. We got a great wedding planner that we stumbled across that we used and they were a lifesaver 
because yeah. they handled everything for us. All we did is we talked to them, you know, over the phone, over Skype, yep. and they handled everything for us all the way through the process, right? And we'll put their info in there down in the description if you want to check them out, if it's something that you'd want. Yeah. They're awesome. <laughs> so the Philippines wedding was really part two of that wedding. And what we needed to do was make sure that we were both prepared to be married in a Catholic church, mm -hmm. okay? And what we did in the Philippines was a, what's called a convalidation ceremony so that we were actually recognized as married to the Catholic church and, and God. Um, so that was part two of our marriage. So both parts, part one and part two, were actually official parts, right? Most people do it all at once, right? They get their yeah. legal marriage certificate and then they go to the church and then the priest would then sign the marriage certificate and he would be that person that notarizes it, right? Mm -hmm. We just did it differently. We just did part one in the US yeah. and then did part two in the Philippines. It's more on the ceremony. The only thing that the priest didn't do is he just didn't have to sign a marriage license because there was no marriage license to sign. Yeah. However, there were things that we had to sign for the Catholic Church so that it is recognized mm -hmm. in the Catholic Church. It is documented. So in the eyes of the Catholic Church, we are legally married too, okay? And when we had our wedding in the Philippines, it was absolutely amazing. Yeah. Everything that I dreamed of, everything that she dreamed of, you know? And uh, we're so glad that we did it this way because we were able to get the best of both worlds, mm -hmm. right? So that was our part one and our part two. And uh, I don't think we would have ever done it any other way because it was really amazing, right? Yeah, everybody's happy. Our, both of our families are happy and they're involved. So, and we are happy for that because ourselves are happy so, and our families are happy and that's all that matters to us. So everything was all set and everybody's happy mm -hmm. until our wedding photographer asked us what date he should put on our wedding album. Oh yeah. What is our anniversary date? Which one is it? We asked each other about it. Yeah. Know? I'm so confused. Like, okay, what? Which... Like, which is our anniversary date, right? Which one do we celebrate? Do we just ignore the one, one or the other, right? And we both decided that, you know, because we looked at it as a two-part wedding, you know, part one and then part two, that part two is actually our complete wedding anniversary. Okay, that's what we decided. Because it is when we were married in front of the church in front of God. Yes, so that's when both part one and part two were complete. So we're not saying that everybody should do it that way, mm -hmm. but it was really special, mm -hmm. you know, and it was really gratifying to know that, you know, we got to spend the time with my family mm -hmm. at home and that we also got to spend time with her family and all her friends in the Philippines, you know, because that, that was just priceless, mm -hmm. you know, to be able to have, have the wedding that we had and, and when we say it was cheap, it compared to what you would pay for a wedding here in the US, it was cheap, okay? We yeah. had the most extravagant, awesome wedding in the Philippines, right? And it was amazing mm -hmm. for the cost of probably one of the smallest, dinkiest weddings in the US, right? <laughs> um, you yeah. know, so it's, you know, it really is not that expensive to get married in the Philippines. You can even have a great wedding. It would go a long way. Your dollars would go a long way in the yes. Philippines. And again, if, if you're looking for somebody to help plan, definitely look in the description. Um, the people that we helped, you know, we're not getting anything from that. We're just going to yeah. help them out. You we're know, grateful but, for them. Um, we're very grateful for yeah. them because they took a lot of headaches away from us. We even needed to um, postpone our date once. Mm -hmm. So they had to like reschedule everything <laughs> and so it crazy. was, <laughs> it was a nightmare and they made it just so effortless, mm -hmm, you know, because we were so concerned that we were going to lose so much money and lose all this. Mm -hmm. And they just, they just made it happen. And they said, you know what? Shit happens. <laughs> we're going to deal with it and we're going to get, get it done. And they did. And, and they pulled it off and it was fantastic. I have a question, love, because sure. earlier in this video you talk about which is better, which is faster, which is less complicated, so. Okay, so let's talk about the visa end, okay. right? You know, if I had to say, like, what's the most complicated way of doing it? The way we did it. It's definitely <laughs> more complicated. Don't do it, Tim. But it's worth it. It is worth it. Okay, 
you know, because you're not only having to do all the paperwork in the U.S., but then when you go to the Philippines, you still got to jump through hoops because you got to oh, yeah. you got to have your meetings with the church and interviews, you, and you got to have interviews. The papers, um, birth. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so you got to get all your papers together to make sure that you know you have your baptismal uh, your baptismal yeah. certificate. You got to get your um, your confirmation, confirmation cer certificate. It's a lot of certificate. Yes, and you have so, to go to seminars too. Yes, you know, and I was really worried because. The, the, the church had said that we had to go there like two months Before. prior to do this interview. And I'm, I can't come there two months prior. She couldn't because she didn't even have her green card yet. Mm -hmm. So we were worried about that. Um, so it's definitely not less complicated, right? It definitely would be less complicated if you just got married in one spot you and did it all. Yeah. But sometimes less complicated isn't the best way. Sometimes the best way is what brings you the most happiness if you can do that, right? Mm -hmm. Now, which one was faster? Here. <laughs> you know, doing the K, you know, if, if your goal is to be together quickly, and that is your number one goal, then definitely do the K-1 visa and get married in the U.S. Mm -hmm. And then ha maybe have your church wedding in the Philippines at a later date. Yeah. Okay. Um, if that's your goal is just to be together faster. If you don't mind waiting, then, you know, getting married in the Philippines and then immigrating to the U.S. Get on a spousal. A, yeah, on a spousal visa. I mean, it's more time consuming and here's why, because you're going through the whole entire immigration process all at once. So when you do come to the US, you're getting your green card, right? You're, you're actually becoming a permanent resident. So that's why that process takes so much longer, okay? Where with the K-1 visa, you're getting your visa and then you have to go through the whole application process mm -hmm. um, to get your, your permanent residency and your green card as well. So it's just a different process, but generally speaking, a spousal visa will take longer. Uh, at least it was that way when, when, when we got ours, yeah. right? Uh, I haven't checked the, the government websites lately, so maybe I don't know it's if it's changed, changed yeah. but um, would love to hear in our comments from some of you that maybe have experienced you know, some differences there. But, so that's all for this video. If you have any questions about any of this, feel free to leave a comment down there. And once again, if you like this channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you don't miss any of our videos. And as always, keep it real. real.